my dear friends, welcome to sunny Gibraltar. And today we are walking to the ocean village from the runway. And uh, if you are coming to Gibraltar through the Spanish border, uh, you can walk this way or if you are coming from the airport and you need to go to Ocean Village. Today is going to be a good video for you guys to know how to do it, okay? <laughs> Which way to go? So, we are walking. Oh, okay, guys, just wanted to show you uh, quickly the prices for petrol and diesel. Diesel is 107 pounds per litre or 123 euros. Yes, you can uh, buy it in euros and pounds. Pounds is better. And the petrol is 107 in pounds, 1079 actually and uh, in euros is 1241 and also you have Optima diesel is 117 pounds or 134 euros okay per litre so and uh, now we are going to Ocean Village so you see from the when you cross the runway you will be just walking straight okay so don't need to turn anywhere you can't really go anywhere you just would have to go straight so look guys i wanted to also to show you the new bicycles lane which was opened yesterday yes it was uh, something like world cyclist day and they were working hard to open it for that day yes and uh, actually it took them quite a while to build this line lane like few months and uh, last day on Friday, they were working really hard, like, I don't know, midnight, I think. They were still keep doing it to open it for yesterday. Unfortunately, I couldn't come yesterday for the opening. I had lots of cyclists. Um, but I thought I'll come today and show it to you guys. I wanted to do it today. So it's still nice and clean. <laughs> so you can see it is nice and clean. And look how many cyclists are already using it. So I think it's quite a nice idea, actually. Um, but I have a little bit of some concerns and I will tell you about them in a minute. Okay, so basically if you are not cycling but just walking, you have path where I walk right now. So basically now you know you can't cross the runway by car. Okay, you have to use a tunnel. So, but if you're walking, I wanted to show you this roundabout. We will be coming here a few times. But for example, if you need to go to Holiday Inn Express, I believe it's Express uh, Hotel, Holiday Inn anyway, it's only one here in Gibraltar. It will be on the left. You see guys, I only walked like three minutes. So basically it's like from the airport, I don't know, for me it's like five minutes to get to this hotel. So you don't need a taxi. You just cross and you're right there. You will see it just over there. I can see it from here, okay? So, and then if you need to go to town, you just go straight. There are two ways to get there. And uh, in my other videos, I will show you guys how to get there. And we will walk one way and then we will walk another way. Yes, there are two different ways. And uh, I didn't do videos before because there was so much walk going on in this area. You see, it's all open now. It's always uh, blocked. You, you could walk, but it was very uncomfortable. It was very, very noisy. Lots of uh, pavement work was done, so they've done new pavement. It looks pretty much the same. It just looks like they uh, put the bricks back. But uh, yeah, just wanted to show you a bit more of the still uh, the cycling lane. They have done this uh, new, you see, divergence. Before we could just walk straight over there, but now you have uh, this uh, area with flowers and uh, to go on the other side is now that um, zebra so this is where you have to cross going to the left to town okay but we are going today to um, ocean village okay and um, so well basically here they haven't changed the pavement as you can see for the pedestrians it's exactly the same but um, it's nice that uh, cyclist line lane is quite nice but my concern is, okay, if you, I don't know, watched or had my previous videos, that this on the right is the stadium, Victoria Stadium. And on the left, it's a school. And they are going to smash it all. 
Yes, guys, so they're going to smash it all and they're going to build a new stadium completely with like new apartments out there with the shopping area. So basically, I presume that all of this is going to be smashed. And that means that the lane, bicycle lane is, I don't know, what's going to happen to that? So uh, that was kind of interesting. And also when they will smash the school, well, imagine how many lorries and dirt and everything else that will be going on in here. So in uh, that respect, I'm not sure why they've created this lane now. Why not to actually demolish everything, build new development, new stadium, and then put this new cyclist lane. So the logical would be, in my opinion, that way to do it afterwards. Because as far as I understand, the stadium work will start already this year, sometime in autumn. But uh, with the school, you see how the area here for school is huge. This is a very big project out there. There will be few buildings with the apartments. So, uh, yeah, I wish they would just do everything at the same time because it usually takes them so long to build anything here. I don't <coughs> want it like going on and on and on again for many years. Just do everything at the same time and that would be nice. But anyway, so Lane is here right now. Um, well, they also have a count or something which will be telling them how many uh, cyclists are going through. Well, obviously, look, they didn't finish the flower pots yet. This is a new flower pots will be here. They have changed this payment. Uh, we used to have flower pots here, which I think is it's nicer because it's wider. We before it was very hard to walk. And uh, to be honest, I don't know how I'm going to take mom. Usually she would go some, well, from time to time. We go to Roski together and she is using the mobile chair, but she can't control it. So usually I walk next to her, controlling it. But now we usually would just walk on the road a little bit. Uh, but now, because on the pavement, it's not very uh, easy to walk, as you can see how, how narrow it is for pedestrians. So, but uh, it's not easy for me to navigate my mom <laughs> when we are going together. So, but now we can't use road either because I don't think we were allowed to use the cyclist lane and it's not enough space for the cars out there. So if we will be also walking. So guys, we are pretty much here to the right. That's where we will have Ocean Village. So that's the one of the entrances. You can go and uh, actually uh, Marina Bay is also, okay. And uh, we can also continue this way. So there is also a plan to smash this building and use bits of the car park in here to build a new hotel. Yes, guys, that's another plan, which I think I don't really want to because I like it as it is with all these nice flowers, a little bit of space, like, you know, for the car parking, because I mean, a bit of a view of um, this is my uh, development where I live and they want to put here a I presume they want to put it all over this place it's going to be that hotel I don't think they just want this part I'm sure they want to take pretty much all of it so this is I don't know I don't like the idea at all whoops <laughs> even my camera disagrees <laughs> it doesn't like it either <laughs> so you have a little bit of the um, sign here so you have bars restaurant shops it tells you which ones if you're interested and basically if you are staying in um, Sanborn so you that's where you can go through but you would have to go um, over the bridge okay and uh, if you would just continue this way just follow the cycles <laughs> cyclist lane and then uh, you can just walk around and then you don't need to, if you have like heavy luggage then you can just walk and you don't need to take any stairs okay so i'm just going to finish this path and uh, it looks like the 
a new cyclist's lane is also going to finish over there okay so and that's our short walk you see i've been walking talking slowly and it's only taken like 10 minutes uh, from the uh, barrier the runway barrier like i'm saying from the airport is probably just five minutes to cross depends how fast you walk and uh, basically you are here yes end of route that's it so this is where it finishes and uh, i presume they're going to continue doing it more as you can see guys it's still going on so that's a lot of going on out there and uh uh, it's a uh, way to the town also, okay, but here if you turn to the right then uh, Again, you are at Ocean Village So That's the route You can't get lost, but I know it's a bit um, Complicated when you are first time when we were first time here. We also were like where we should go <laughs> which way where is town how to get there Ocean Village We didn't even know that it was that close so from the border so here we are guys you see our ocean village so to the right is uh, marina bay more side and uh, the bridge but to, to the go to sunborn you obviously can either go that way or you can go this way i suggest to go that way it's a prettier way okay so well this is it my friends um just going to get you to the stand here and here you are you can get more information if you need to ocean village enjoy your visit okay guys so thank you for watching i hope you liked the video okay, our short walk and uh, if you did don't forget to like subscribe and uh, i see you next time bye everyone bye